So that game simply shows, and that is a prime example of all the reasons as to everyone and anyone that ever says that Europa League games are absolutely woeful. And that is a prime example of a woeful Europa League game. I mean, that was horrendous, absolutely horrendous. It was slow, it was boring, it was passive, we were timid. We just, you know, had nothing. We depositated all excitement, all energy. We had, you know, 70% of the ball. We didn't do anything with it. We were passing sideways, backwards, up and down. We weren't penetrating. And we're up against a sport in Lisbon side who offered absolutely nothing. And yet, they have come away from North London with a point. And, you know, it was frustrating. It was such a frustrating game to watch because it had nothing. And I've seen so many Arsenal games under Unai Emery recently, and particularly... You know, since he started, he has brought the fun factor back to Arsenal. That was not fun under any circumstances. Welcome back to Analyzing Arsenal. These are my thoughts and feelings to the game at the Emirates Stadium in the UEFA Europa League. And that is match day four. Arsenal taking on Sporting and Arsenal were looking to make it 15 games. And it is, essentially, still, we have now gone 15 games unbeaten. But it's, yes, another draw. It is three draws on the spin and that is the worst draw of the bunch. You know, we got fortunate against Crystal Palace. We performed exceptionally against Liverpool. So, you know, a standard draw, a very good draw. But that was just not. And, you know, it was a quite horrific night for many reasons. And the main one is because there was nothing really. Now, the Europa League is, is really, really difficult to get into. And I don't really care about the Europa League. Not until we get into kind of the later stages, like the quarterfinals, semi-finals. That's when the competition really starts to get going. You know, in regards to the the, the group, you know, kind of phase of of the proceedings, you do see an absolute string of just absolutely dire matches on a night that nobody really wants to think about football. I think Gary Neville said that once. Nobody really wants to watch football matches on the first day and. Does anybody really enjoy the Europa League? I mean, I watched Chelsea's game just before Arsenal's game with my dad, and that was even worse than that game. I mean, there was absolutely nothing. And, you know, the scoreline says 0-0, and you're, you're looking at Arsenal, you know, having 14 shots, and we had two shots on target in 90 minutes. Sports Lisbon had five shots, and they did not register a single shot on target. I don't remember Petr Cech making one single save, and we had two really good opportunities in 90 minutes, and we had 70% of the ball. It's just not good enough. Now, whether Arsenal are tired from what they did at the weekend, understandable. Maybe the injury to Danny Welbeck took the spring out of Arsenal's stale, but there was not really anything. And Unai Emery put out a good enough team and a strong enough team to get the job down. Now, you know, we're already pretty much safe and secure and going into the last 32 of the Europa League without a shadow of a doubt. So it doesn't make too much of a difference, but it's a problem because... You know, the Europa League has been branded as kind of B-Tech Champions League football. And yes, it is B-Tech Champions League football. But that's not good enough. That's not good enough at all. I mean, you look at the lineups. you know, with Czech and Goal, Lichsteiner, Jenkinson, Socrates Holding, Ramsey, Grandesi, Mkhitaryan, Smith Rowe has been exceptional recently, Awobi, Danny Welbeck, who started, came off injured in a really, really bad injury. And we'll get to that in just a moment for Pierre Cavalier. That's a squad and side capable and surely good enough to go on and you know, do something and get kind of you know the, the required three points we needed. And we didn't really need three points, but I wanted three points. I wanted to see a good game and I expected this to be a really good game. It just just let me down. It's the first time in a long time since Unai was taken over I watched it and thought those players just couldn't really be asked tonight. Now, you know, you could argue and put it, you know, and, and throw it on its head and say that Sporting actually defended rather well. And they did for large parts of the game, but Arsenal just needed to do more. They needed to do more and more and more, and it was it was too passive. It was, you know, every time we went forward, we were going, you know, to the left, to the right. We were trying to open the door. You know, we tried to score the perfect goal. We tried to walk it in. You know, we weren't direct enough. We weren't bold enough. We weren't brave enough at times. And you know, those traits of what I saw in that side tonight resemble the traits of the Arsenal Wenger Arsenal team of last season. And you know, I hopefully we'll just put it down to fatigue. Because you know they have just got off the back of a you know really intense and quite physical game against Liverpool, but it wasn't great. It really was not a great game. Um, a couple of things that we do need to speak about: Danny Welbeck's injury did look really really bad. Um, I think he's broken his leg personally, and it would be such a shame. You know, I do send my you know best wishes and uh, my condolences to Danny Welbeck because 
He's so unfortunate. He's been a vital part of Arsenal side, particularly under Unai Emery, and particularly in the Europa League. He has been the difference. You know, he scored that winning goal in you know Lisbon three weeks ago. You know, he got the match winning goal. So, you know, he has been a vital you know part of what Unai Emery is trying to make. And you know, it seems like now he's going to be out. And if that injury is bad as what it looked like, then you know. I think he's going to be out for at least the rest of the season. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look great by any means at all. And, you know, it's it's unfortunate. You know, it really is unfortunate because you're looking at a, a player that is coming along under Unai Emery, a player that is kind of, you know, performing to the very best. And I just think that he is kind of, you know, he's maturing into a really top class striker in parts and that kind of you know development and growth that he is kind of you know getting and gathering has sort of been taken away straight away by an injury it kind of stagnates him and puts him back it's almost like you know two steps forward and one step back and that one step back has taken him right the way back to square one and that is a, a real problem really in my eyes because you know it's just going to put him right back to where he was you know right at the start of the season he needs to get consistency and injuries are just you know stopping that and you know considerably and consistently stopping that so you know I hopefully and uh, I kind of hope he has a speedy recovery as does Lichsteiner who pulled his hamstring and he could be out for a long period of time and again he's been a vital part and it's you know two hard-hitting injuries that have hit us that have contributed to quite a brutal evening really we're still unbeaten still 15 games unbeaten we still go you know and we head into Sunday's game against Wolverhampton with a chance to try and get into the top four before we head into another international break and you know there were positives tonight the fact is that we are still you know holding that still we're not conceding goals you know we did keep a clean sheet tonight but it was just not a great game and not a great spectacle and I want to see an entertaining Arsenal side no matter what the competition is and I didn't see that tonight and that is, you know, worrisome and I have a big problem with seeing an Arsenal side just, you know, fall over and be a bit timid and a bit passive. So, you know, that isn't great, but we're still unbeaten. We've pretty much bagged ourselves a place in the last 32 of the Europa League. We go from there and we move on to Sunday with a chance of potentially getting back into the Premier League top four before we head off for an international break. And there isn't really much to talk about in this video other than it wasn't a great spectacle really so I'm going to leave Analyze and Arsenal there for you guys today please let me know your thoughts and feelings to tonight's game down in the comment section below please make sure to leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you're around here and check out my great content as well follow me on Twitter as always at DJ Peppers 998 and uh, until the next time take care and I shall see you all later take care and I'll see you and speak to you all on Sunday till then bye bye take care have a good weekend bye bye